I do like a bit of bonkers every now and again. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day after my break. Back with you with a summary video review. See the link below each video. That'll take you to the website where you'll see scores, pictures, more detail about the instrument. This is just a summary. Uh, lots of thank yous running across the bottom of the screen because there's two weeks worth there. These are people who donate to help keep this site going because I don't take money from brands in gifts or cash in order to do reviews. They would not be impartial if I did that. And if you like the Got A Ukulele YouTube channel, why not help me out by hitting that subscribe button uh, get the subscribe account up. You'll get notified about new stuff that comes up on the channel when I post it. Okay, that intro. Yeah, I love different. I love a bit bonkers. And there is no brand out there that, that really fulfills that much more than this one. Uh, and he won't mind me calling him bonkers because he knows that I'm doing it in a good way because... Uh, this is Bonanza Ukuleles, um, the business of Pete and Shelley Mai in Minnesota in the U USA. Um, ukes made by Pete, who's a cabinet maker. And the reason I call him a bit bonkers, <laughs> sorry Pete, is because he always sends me instruments where the, the conventional building techniques are just nowhere to be seen. He's just creates new approaches to instruments. I look at them and I think, that's not going to work. And they do, <laughs> they always work. And this is a new one from him. This is the Bonanza Ukuleles Ranch Hand Personal Player. Uh, as a ukulele for you. Look at that, wowzers. Um, Pete has designed this to be ultra lightweight, ultra thin for being able to just tuck inside your bag, um, saddle bag perhaps, um, but also quiet, um, because that hence why it's called the Personal Player. Now that, poses me with a problem with the scoring but I'll come on to that because an instrument that is designed to be quiet um, you know I normally pick that up as a criticism but at least he's being honest it's designed to be quiet because there is not very much body here at all uh, and it's not just the case that this is a thin instrument that the, this the, the build of this is bizarre this is all solid mahogany it's available in other woods it's available in all the scales as well uh, this is the concert version it's all solid mahogany um, but it's not built in the normal way. The top and sides and neck are all one piece of wood. This is all connected, there's no joint here. This is all one piece of wood. Uh, and he routes out that shape into kind of like a bowl shape with integral bracing and bridge support and whatnot inside it. And it is the back that is applied. So that's a separate piece of wood. You can't see the joints, I'm trying to show you. Very hard to get that in focus. Um, I can't find the joint. It's really, really well done. So this is the separate piece and everything else is one block of wood that's been cut out. <laughs> it's about two centimeters thick or just under. Really, really narrow. Um, so really odd because it's usually the top that is placed on the bowl to create the soundboard, whereas it's kind of in reverse. And this, it's not that the soundboard is on the back, that is still the soundboard, but it's the back that is applied. I'm going on. Um, and it's just really, really odd. Um, there's more detail about that on the, on the review. Uh, the bridge is a through body design, which is made of walnut with a Corian saddle, uh, usual Bonanza style. And rather than having to fish those out of the sound hole to tie the knots or the beads onto, there's a port on the back. Um, so you can see where they're tied off inside. That's really clever. Uh, I love that. Really like that. Finished in an open pour uh, semi-gloss, which is beautifully done. I, I, I must stress throughout this review on this instrument, I can't find anything wrong with the build. It's just really, really nicely put together. Feels great. The neck, as I say, is integral to the body. So that just extends up. It's quite a chunky neck, and but flat at the back. It reminds me very much of a magic fluke flea instrument, um, but it is comfortable. Tapers off to a roomy uh, 38 mil at the nut, 29 from G2A, so that's comfortable. Topped in more walnut, which is in great condition with a bit of sort of grain variation in it, which is rather attractive, really nice and smooth. I think Pete's done his, what he calls his self-binding fingerboard, so the frets don't actually sit in slots that don't quite reach the end, end of the fretboard, which means you get no fret ends and of course no sharpness. 18 of those, 14 to the body. Pale wood position dots at 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. White dots on the side. Um, Corian nut. Oh, beyond that, the usual Bonanza headstock, which I always like. Simple and effective. Square topped. 
uh, Bonanza logo there is a laser etch. Incidentally, talking about laser etching, um, this one is very plain. It also comes in different color finishes. In fact, I have a cutesy little soprano version of the same instrument here, which is in a blue, but also Pete offers laser etchings that you could have onto your design choice. Um, tuners are Graftech Tuner Lely Planetaries. Now, these work really, really well. I like the tuners. I still maintain that I think they look ugly. Um, I, did, I stopped giving recommendations to them because I had one with a post that snapped here, and I've seen others that have snapped online. Uh, but Pete tells me he's sawn one and they've upgraded the material there's there's metal shaft in here now so that problem goes away i understand why he's put these on as well because these are so light this is a really lightweight instrument 445 grams um he does offer other tuner options um but i suspect they make it neck heavy so i think these are the right option uh, so that's a good choice comes with sigua blue label fishing line which is the strings i use um and as I say, it's really lightweight. Uh, the price, they're all the same price in soprano, concert and tenor, uh, and extremely reasonable for a handmade in the USA instrument, $279. And there's a modest little price increase if you want the baritone. 279, really, really good price. Um, this is a difficult one to review though. As I said at the beginning, an instrument that is, is designed to be uh, quiet, simple, and you know, very little body there to, be resonating. Um, now what I've done in the score when you read the review is I have scored it down on the um, on the volume uh, on the sound because of what I'm about to tell you but it's not like he's not warning you of that that's what it's designed to do. If I'd not have done that it would have skewed the review and made it stand out unfairly but you know what the volume isn't that bad. It's pretty loud, actually. And there's some nice sustain there as well. It's vibrating into my chest. It's remarkable for such a slight little body. What I will say about the tone. thin it's a thin tone it sounds like um, a ukulele being played on an AM mono radio or through a very small speaker but it's not unpleasant it's, it's rather pretty Have a lot of punch finger picked but strummed it does maybe i'm doing it a disservice i have to reflect the sound as i say but that is what it's designed to sound like so it's not really a criticism. It's, it, it's not like you buy it where it's been billed to sound like um, a thousand dollar Kamako and you get it home and you go, oh, that sounds a bit thin and quiet. He's told you it's gonna be quiet because it's designed to be. It's designed to be the personal player for picking late at night. And for picking, it really is delicate. But I can get some, I can get some volume out of it. Strummed. <laughs> Again, Pete has done it. He's sent me something that I've thought, that's just absolutely ridiculous, how's it gonna work? And it does work. And um, the build is exemplary. The price is great. I love the look of it as well. It's certainly different. Um, and do you know what? The sound has really surprised me. No, it's not up there. It doesn't sound like a, a full-bodied acoustic, but how could it? Look how thin it is. 
Um, it sounds like what it sounds like, and it works, and it plays accurately, and actually, I like that sustain. It's given it some character, and it's quite a pretty tone, uh, albeit thin. Um, there we are, the Ranch Hand personal player from Bonanza Ukulele's Handmade in the USA. Um, this is winging its way with this one to a UK buyer. So thanks very much to Pete cause, and the buyer, because what he arranged was that uh, he'd send it to me and I would send it on to the person who these belong to. So it's very kindly been sort of loaned to me halfway through its, uh, its onward journey. Uh, I think the person who's bought these is going to be delighted because I think it's a whole lot of fun. Um, I love it. absolutely love it. And what am I doing here? I'm going on and on and on. Right, cut to the chase. Uh, back after my break, I've got ukuleles now booked in until uh, end of November. Absolutely crazy times ahead, loads to look at. Um, thanks very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and help me out. And thanks for your ongoing support. Go very carefully this week. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.